Let's make a rainbow chameleon. First, let's learn about chameleons. Did you know chameleons change color to warm up or cool down? Turning darker helps the animals because the dark colors absorb more heat. They also switch colors to communicate with other chameleons. They use bright colors to attract potential mates or warn enemies. What if you could change colors? What would your colors communicate? Let's see some chameleons in action now. Chameleons are animals that most people would regard as highly charismatic. One of the old theories as to why chameleons change color was that they were changing color to match their background. But what we now know is that it's actually a communication strategy. In 2015, scientists have discovered that the superficial layer of chameleon skin has pigments in it. And under that, there are cells with small guanine crystals. Chameleons change color by actively tuning the spacing between these guanine crystals. And what that does is it changes the wavelength of light that is reflected off of those crystals and thereby changes the hue or the color of the chameleons. Now chameleons have always been considered a master of camouflage and some of that is actually behavioral. When chameleons are moving in the branches or moving along the ground, they do a very characteristic back and forth motion and what they're actually doing is mimicking a leaf or a branch in the wind and trying to break up a typical movement pattern of an animal running from a predator. 36% of chameleon species are threatened with extinction. The main threats to chameleons in the wild is actually habitat alteration and deforestation. Now that we've learned about chameleons, let's go over the directions for our rainbow chameleon project. For your supplies, you'll need a blank piece of paper to draw your own chameleon on, or if you can print, you can use the chameleon template that you can find on Google Classroom. You can also find a how to draw chameleon page on Google Classroom as well. On the left here is the chameleon template. You can see the shape of the chameleon is drawn very lightly in pencil. You'll have to draw the rest of it, but this will give you a starting point. On the right is the how to draw a chameleon page. This you can use to help you draw your chameleon. You can also follow along with the video in just a couple minutes. Other supplies that you'll need are a pencil, an eraser, a black marker, and coloring materials of your choice. For mine, I used crayons and watercolor paints. First, follow along with the video to draw your own chameleon in pencil. Then outline with a black marker. It's really important that you start with a pencil for this project and then outline with a black marker because there's some lines that we're going to draw first with pencil that we eventually will erase and that we don't need to outline. So please draw with a pencil first and then outline with a black marker. After, we'll use color blending to blend colors in each section of our chameleon's body, showing Roy G. Biv order, which is rainbow order. Don't forget to add color to your background. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Before you get started, make sure you have your piece of paper, the chameleon drawing directions that you can find on Google Classroom, a pencil, an eraser, a black marker, and then some coloring materials. I will be using crayons and watercolor paint, but you can use any supply that you like to add color. So we're going to use our directions to draw our chameleon. We're going to start with this curved line that goes from the bottom of the paper to the right side. And this is going to be the tree branch that our chameleon is sitting on. So I'm practicing this with my finger before I draw it. I'm going to start at the bottom of my paper, not quite in the middle, a little bit over to the left side of my paper, and I'm going to make a line that curves and goes to the side. Then I'm going to do another line, just like it, about a finger's width over from it. And I'm gonna curve that line and follow it so it creates a shape. 
Now I have a tree branch that my chameleon will be sitting on. Next, we're going to draw this triangle shape that will end up being the chameleon's head. This is going to overlap the tree branch a little bit. So notice how my line goes over the tree branch. I'm going to end up erasing some of the lines on the branch. And I'm making my triangle a little bit curved. Notice that my sides are slightly curved. You can choose to make yours curved or not. Next, we're going to draw the body of our chameleon with another curved line. Notice that we're using a lot of curved lines for our chameleon. We're going to start at the top of this triangle shaped head, make a big curve that arches over and touches the branch. So again, I'm practicing that with my finger before I draw it. I'm starting a little bit below the top of the triangle making a curved line and ending at the branch. Next, we're going to draw a spiral line. Remember, a spiral is a line that just keeps growing and growing. It's like a circle that does not stop. So at the bottom of the line we just drew, I'm going to draw a spiral shape for my chameleon's tail. This is going to overlap the lines of the tree branch. So we're gonna need to erase some of those pencil lines after. That's why it's really important that you draw with a pencil first and then outline with a black marker because there are going to be some lines that you don't need. Next, let's draw the feet and the legs of our chameleon. So we're gonna draw two of these. One is the front leg that's going to go here. One is the back leg that will go down near the tail. A chameleon has four legs, but the other two are on the other side and we can't see them in this view. Near the triangle shaped head, we're going to draw a straight line a little bit above the tree branch. Then we're going to curve it down and make kind of like a letter U shape. Then we're gonna do that again. That's the front leg. Let's do that again on the back. A straight line, a line that curves down, like a letter U, and then one next to it. That is the foot of the back leg. Now the back leg, we can see more of its leg shape. So we're going to draw like half of a heart shape. So it's gonna go like this. Watch and then do yours. This is the area where the leg is bent. Then we're going to draw a slightly curved line that comes up and a little short line to show the skin behind it. Now for the front leg, we're just gonna draw a curved line that comes around and connects to the foot. After, let's draw our chameleon's face. We're going to start with a big circle for the eye. Chameleons have two eyes, but the other one is on the other side of the face. Then draw a little circle near the top, inside of the eye, and a curved line for an eyebrow. After, let's draw the mouth. We're gonna make our mouth curve up and then go down. You can draw yours in a different way if you'd like. So now we have our basic chameleon shape, but let's draw some leaves around our chameleon. First, I'm going to start with a smaller branch that comes out from the big tree branch that the chameleon is sitting on. I'm using two lines for this one below the other and then I'm going to draw my leaves on it. When you draw a leaf you can use a rainbow line and then a smile line to make a pointed leaf shape. Let's draw more than one. Draw at least two or even three here on the bottom level. So I drew a curved line. I'm going to do a rainbow line and then a smile line to make a pointed leaf. I can do that below because I have some space. 
Here's my thin branch and a rainbow line and then a smile line. And you could draw some more coming down from here if you'd like. It just depends on how much space you have around your chameleon. Some of you may have a bigger chameleon than me. Some of you may have a smaller chameleon than me. Either is fine. That's the cool thing about art, that everyone's ends up looking a little bit different because we're all different artists. Now I have a lot of space above my chameleon, so I'm going to draw another big tree branch that goes behind it. If you have a lot of space, I would suggest filling it with more tree branches and leaves. So I'm going to start with a curved line, but I reached my chameleon's body, so I'm going to skip it and draw it on the other side. Now I need to draw the other side so it's a shape. It's going to skip the chameleon's body and come out behind it on the other side. Then let's add some more of those skinny branches and leaf shapes. The last thing we're going to do is draw some sections on our chameleon's body where the different colors will go. We know that chameleons have super cool colors and some can even change colors. So let's draw where those colors are going to go. I'm going to start in the middle between the front and back leg and just draw a wavy, bumpy line that goes to the other side of the body. Then I'll draw one next to it that comes out. Notice how my section is skinnier down here and it gets wider at the top. When I'm drawing these lines, I'm going to skip where the leg is and just draw it after the leg. I'm going to continue these also onto the tail. And there's no right or wrong way to do this, just as long as you have some different sections on your chameleon's body. And now it's time to outline it with a black marker. Start by outlining the entire chameleon first. We're going to outline the tree branch and leaves after because there's some lines in that that we're going to erase. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline my chameleon's body and then come back to do the tree and the branches. Now that I've outlined my chameleon, I can see where I don't need to outline some of the tree branch lines. So for example, right here, I'm just going to outline this part of the tree branch. I wouldn't want to draw this line through the tail, so I can take my eraser and erase the line that I don't need to outline. Then I'm going to continue on the other side of the tail and outline the rest of the branch. Then I can take my eraser and erase the rest of the line that was going through the chameleon's body. Now I can go ahead and outline the rest of the leaves and the skinny branches that I drew. And if you have any leaves that overlap, then again, you can erase some of the pencil lines that you don't need. Like right here, this leaf is bumping into this leaf so I'm not going to outline any pencil lines I don't need. Now that I'm done outlining, I'm gonna go back over with an eraser and erase all the extra pencil lines that are showing through. And now we're ready to add color to our chameleon. I will be using crayons and watercolor for mine, but you can use any supply that you like. I would suggest though, if you have colored pencils or crayons, use those on your chameleon's body so that you can blend colors. And I'm going to try to color in my chameleon in rainbow order. And in each space on my chameleon's body, I'm going to try to blend two colors together. So let's practice that a little bit on the back. If I have one color, I have this kind of purple that's a little bit more of a reddish purple. I can color with that 
and then use another color that's similar to it, and this would be called an analogous color. A color that sits next to it on the color wheel. So this is more of a blue violet, a purple that has more of a blue tone, and this is more of a red violet or a purple that has more of a red tone. And I can blend those together by overlapping. So let's try to blend our colors on our chameleon because remember, chameleons are known for changing colors. Now that I've colored in my chameleon, I'm going to paint my background with watercolors. If you're painting, make sure you have a water cup, your paints, and something to protect your table, like a messy mat, and of course, a paintbrush. If you're using watercolor, remember that you need to wake up your colors by swirling your brush on the color. I'm going to do something called wet on wet watercolor. That is when you paint an area of your paper with a wet brush and a little bit of color. So I have a little bit of blue. Then you choose another color and you use drops of that color and you drop it into that puddle that you made on your paper. You're gonna see the color bleed, blend together. And this is called wet on wet watercolor. Okay, so I am all done with my rainbow chameleon. I hope you had so much fun with this project, learning about chameleons and how to draw one, using simple shapes and lines, and using color blending to blend your colors into a rainbow. I can't wait to see what you create. Have fun, artist!